are you? Today, I'm going to share with you a little bit history of gyro. Gyro, an ancient Greek street food, who would have known? There is actually, actually a national gyro day, and this year it is September 1st. Yes, gyro, as in the tapered uh, tower of thinly sliced meat rotating on an upright spit that is a delectable uh, street food in many parts of the world. Gyro, pronounced gi, gyro, in Greek comes from the Greek word. The gyro, as we know, is more or less today first arrived in Greece in 1922 with the hundreds of thousands of Greek and Armenian refugees from Asia Minor, present-day Turkey. Most came from Constantinople, Istanbul, and Smyrna, Izmir. The best gyro masters were Armenian, or so the legend goes. As the refugees began to settle in their newfound homeland, many became merchants. They opened small shops, um, among which were the small holes in the wall on every street corner selling gyro. After the World War II, gyro started to travel west following the immigration pattern of the Greek themselves. So shops began popping up across Europe in the States and Australia. It became one of the first global fast food, although no such label could really describe it at the time because most shops were mom and pop run so i hope you learned a little bit history of gyro and now let's start again Hi, welcome to Greece. Today we are traveling to Greece. I'm having some um, gyro and this gyro I have it with lamb, slice of lamb meat. And you know, I am having some French fries along with some sriracha hot sauce and also some milk so i'm so hungry let's start again let's pray first amen all right guys so today it's been a long week and it's friday so i deserve to have some french fries because uh, when i got this from the restaurant they have options of like Greek salad, you know, hummus, falafel, but you know, I think I deserve some french fries. So that's why I'm having it with the french fries as a side. But let's try it again guys. I'm so excited and hungry. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Look at that. Mm. Oh, look. All the hot sauce right there. Whoa! <laughs> I poured too much. Mm. Look at this chili sauce. Mm. Big bite! So good, wow. Mm. You have some red onions, some yogurt, and lettuce inside, mm. tomatoes. Wow, guys, it's so good and it's fresh. Mm. This is like the first time I try this. I mean, like the restaurant, and I really recommend this this restaurant. Mm. So good. I read the review, you know, and then a lot of people recommend this place, mm. which is true. It's very good. The pita is like so soft. Look at how big it is. So good. So it's huge. Mm. 
Ты я, блин. Have a good day. Bye. So, so delicious. The lamb taste, it's so mild. I don't even like taste. Sometimes like when you don't know how to cook lamb, it's going to be like, have a strong kind of like flavor or smell to it right but this one tastes like beef <laughs> so good mm. and the price is not that expensive it's only what nine bucks awesome mm. I'll definitely buy and come back to use your restaurant again. It's worth it. It's all wet inside. Look at it. Cheers! I can't stop eating. <laughs> How have your day been so far? Has it been productive? More But I think I wish 
I have some extra uh, yogurt sauce on the side because this dish is much better when it's creamy. I'm a very creamy dairy person. I love milk. And milk is my favorite drink. I love cheeses, mayo, you name it, egg. My favorite one. I'm so happy. Mm. My tummy is so happy too. Oh, the meat is like all the way to the bottom. Wow. So yummy. Last bite, but not least, I want to dip it to the hot sauce. Cheers! Wow, I love this lamb gyro. I'm so full and I'm so happy, but it's really worth it to try this restaurant. So, I guess that's all for today. Remember, you don't have to travel to the country, you just need to taste their food. As always, don't forget, get it. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, like, and share my channel. And I'll see you in my next videos. Bye bye.